what is up guys welcome back to another video just want to do a short video for you guys going over the balance changes that we're actually going to be getting out from the pts and some of the new stuff that's actually going to be implemented in tomorrow's live paladins patch the monster cat collab patch for paladins uh when you guys are seeing this as well i don't know depending on when you're seeing this the patch might already be live but not many people actually know that the patch notes actually got updated, so I just want to do a kind of a quick video just summarizing everything. Because we got some really interesting stuff here. Uh, you guys know what to do. If you guys like these types of videos, you guys know what to do. Let's get right into this. Um, balance. We got some balance, guys. Keep in mind, this is the stuff coming out of the PTS, and the stuff that is confirmed is going to be going to the live patch tomorrow morning. Like I said, depending on when you're seeing this video, it may already be live, or it's about the servers might be down and they're updating, whatever. It's not, I'm, you're probably seeing this about three hours from now after I'm done streaming tonight, but um, Betty LaBomb is getting buffed, guys. Increased her, her health from 2100 to 2200. Grenade launcher, indirect indirect hits. The effective radius is going up from 5 to 7, and the effective unit radius from 4 to 5. Direct hits are now getting buffed by 50 damage. I don't know if that's good or not. Like I said, I can't really give much opinions on Betty LaBama because I, I wasn't able to pay, play the PTS. I'm a Switch player. I have no access to the PTS. But those of you guys that were actually able to play around the PTS, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Along with some of these cards, I have no idea what these cards actually did. She got some cards that were buffed. Long Live the Queen actually got per, a projectile speed buff. I'm not sure if this is actually when she's riding the rocket or if it's when she like lets go from the rocket and like just directs into an area. It'll keep keep the bigger uh, like speed going. I'm not sure if that's how it works. Because I, I think right now, before this buff, I think it would actually slow down a little bit when you actually hopped off the rocket and just like directed it into an area to explode. I'm not sure how that actually works 100%. Like I said, I haven't even played her yet. I won't be playing her until she goes to live. But those of you guys that played her in the PTS, let me know what you guys think. Talents got a bounce. Remove the effectiveness decrease to explosive personality. Now reads, reduce the cooldown of explosive personality by 6 per second, but reduce your movement speed by 15%. Okay. I don't know if that's a buff or if that's just a quality of life change. I'm not 100% sure. We got some cards for her as well being buffed. Bouncing Betty is actually getting a scaling increase from 20 to 30. Queen's Entrance increased the scaling from 10 to 40. Fire from Above increases scaling from 10 to 40, so... I'm not sure what those cards do. Those of you guys that played a BTS, please let me know in the comments down below. I mean, I guess I don't really need to know anyways, because she'll be going live tomorrow, so I'll find out anyways. But if you guys want to let me know early, feel free to. Here we go, guys. Azan, y'all. Azan. Oh, they were they said they were gonna fucking nerf him again. Here's what we got again. Azan's getting nerfed. Now the the funny thing is here, we don't have anything with Azan actually being confirmed that he's gonna be added to ranked. So are they going to nerf him some more, or is he going to sit out another, like another uh, patch for ranks? And there's nothing here with seven being added either. So is seven getting added to ranked, or is in his song getting added to ranked? Not 100 percent sure. It doesn't say here. I will find out tomorrow, I guess. Added a damage fall off to his in hand fire, which is his his uh, his hammer or whatever his judgment. Now fully effective up to 104 units. So which 105 units, which is, or I said 104, it's 105. 105 is around about medium range. It's about medium range is when you start getting damage fall off. So what this really does for a Zon, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be pretty much just so you can't like hit somebody for like 725 all the way in spawn. If you guys playing them in the live patch right now, when you, you have fully charged, like fully increased higher and you got the damage boost, you, you have no damage fall off if you land land damage like on their back line or something way across the, the other side of the map. You're still doing like 700, 800 damage from all the way from the other side of the map. You won't be able to do that anymore. It's going gonna, it's gonna to probably start decreasing at around about, it's about medium range. So I'm not sure what the exact numbers are. We'll have to find out. But do you guys think Azan is nerfed enough now or is he still going to be broken? Let me know in the comments down below. Ray, guys, holy shit, they listened to the community. They finally listened to the community. Not fully, not fully. They didn't fully listen to the community, but they finally did. Siegel reverted the damage change. Hallelujah, y'all. Hey, Hallelujah. That's pretty good. Round of applause. They actually took some feedback from the PTS and from the community. They actually implemented it into the game. Holy shit. 
one up on them. Wow, they they got a one up on us, guys. Something I thought they would never do. It's rare. It's really extremely rare. And they increased the damage, which I think 450 is what it is right now. I think it was going to get nerfed to 435, but it's getting reverted back to what it normally is. I don't think that's a damage increase. I think it's what it already is. It before they was supposed to get nerfed. So they took away the damage change and they increased the damage. So I'm not sure if that's a buff. I think it's always 450. That's what it usually is, but there you go. The one thing they didn't change, though, is their all still 50%, so that they didn't listen to it, us on that. Also, no 7 nerfs here. They said they were going to have some additional changes for 7 in this patch for the for the PTS notes, and there's nothing with 7 here, which is really unfortunate. Nothing else either. We got some other cool stuff they're actually adding. General stuff they're adding. Added an, an indicator to the scoreboard for the current value of anti-heal. Holy shit, guys. It took them long enough. You are going to be getting an anti-heal, like, scoreboard indicator. Finally. It took them, like, two or three patches already. Finally. Change the scaling of anti-heal in King of the Hill to, from 40 seconds to 45 seconds per 5%, whatever. Reinducing daily login rewards. This is huge. This is actually huge for, like, a, a post-PTS to live patch thing. This is actually really huge. I did not expect them to add this at all. Props to high res. They add that. I'll give them credit where credit's due. You guys think I'm really negative. I'll give them credit where credit's due. The, the majority of the stuff from the PTS, changes from the PTS and going to live are great. Uh, I, I'm positive. Uh, I'm being positive, guys. But I'll give them credit where credit's due. This this is great. Reinducing inner daily login points. There you go. Or login rewards. Seven-day login reward structure. Those of you guys that have been playing for at least more than two years, we, we used to have this. I'm not sure if it was the same amounts, but it used to be the same. But we had a, a we used to have a daily login thing. I think we got up to, I think, I think it was 35 crystals. I think it was f 15, and I think it was 35. It's going to be a lot less now, though. It's only 15 and 10. So you're getting, what, 25 crystals, which is nothing. But, I mean, I guess, what, 25 crystals a week, which is, what, 100 a month? You're getting about 100 crystals a month. I don't know. I don't know if that's... I mean, we were, we were normally getting, what, 50? Like, 200. We were getting double that back when they originally had those. So, I don't know. I can't complain. I I, I don't care. I, I really don't care. It, it's it's better than nothing. Like, that's what I'm... I'm not even going to complain. I'd rather have daily login rewards and get something for logging in than having nothing. At least it makes you open the game. There you go. I'm not going to be negative. I'm going to be positive about this. I'm not going to shit on it at all. Because it's overall, there's nothing, there's no drawback to it. Unlike right now, where we don't have anything anyways. So it's, it's, it's just, a, it's a majorly a positive. So I don't get those people that say I'm always negative. Uh, there's nothing negative here at all. This is all stuff that's actually good. The only thing I didn't see here is actually anything with seven. So uh, that's the only problem, but whatever. I'm not going to complain about that either. I don't care. We don't even know if he's going to be added to ranked yet. They might be saving him for ranked. They have plans for him in the future. We don't know. Got some ch bug fixes. You guys can scroll through this. It's it's live on the Paladin's website. Just go to the patch notes on the bottom. I don't know if I if I forget to throw a, a link in the description. I, I I might forget. I don't know, but that's where it is. Or just follow me on Twitter. I actually liked and retweeted it over there. Go follow me so you guys can go check that out. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Just wanted to do a short video talking about this stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you guys like the daily logins being brought back, the login rewards? What do you guys think about of about the uh, post-PTS PTS balance changes with Ray Azan's changes? And uh, those of you guys that played Betty LaBamba in the PTS, do you guys think this will actually make her a little bit better? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, with a new patch. I won't be live, but I'll be live on Friday night. So if you guys want to stop by for some live Paladins Friday. And then we got custom games. We'll be doing custom games live on stream for Saturday night this week. So if you guys want to stop by for that, or if you happen to be new, want to stop by for that, feel free to subscribe and follow the channel. Peace out, guys. Have a good rest of your week.